What's going on everybody? Hope you are having a blessed day and welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, drop a like on the video, hit that red subscribe button and turn your notifications on. Today we're about to go over how to make unlimited stubs and MLB the show 21. Road to 9k is right around the corner. Big, big giveaways so right now don't be a hater your whole life make sure you are subscribed to the channel check down below and hit that bell icon next to it now we're going to give a shout out to the mvps that's been helping this channel grow we're going to give a shout out to legend of krakochia shout out to him he said your videos helped me almost get every player so far in the live series so shout out to him also shout out to the sport squad MVP stand up and then shout out to El Nortonio. Where are the MVPs? He said the MVPs are right here. Let's get into today's banger. If you're looking for great gaming services, head on over to AHMLB and make sure you use code FET for 5% off your order. It's two different ways that I want you to look at this video and we're going to have a part one which is this video and then a part two. If y'all want a three part of this type of breakdown, let me know in the comment section and drop a like on the video. So what we're going to do is, being that the last roster update was crazy, nobody expected for Gallo to get a plus four. So now we're going to invest into cards that has a chance to go up to diamond, but also has a chance to give you max profit if you sell it out leading up to the price increase. So what I'm talking about, let's go to the market. What we wanna do is be able to get cards like the Musgroves that didn't go up last time for 1320. And once the price rises up to 3,800, 4,000 stubs, that's when you want to sell them all off. So you get as many cards as possible right now. And we are thinking the next four to five days down the line. So once the speculation starts rising, once all the YouTubers start putting out their prediction videos, Salvador Perez, right now you can get for 1,350. Every roster update, he has a chance to get that bump. He's in the top 10 catchers in the league probably the top five so 1350 what i want you to do is go grab at least 15 of every single card so you can see the profit exactly how i do it right before the roster update if i'm kind of on the edge on who might get the boost and who not I would take these cards that I got for 17, 1900, and I would sell them off as soon as they hit 3,900, 4,000. So looking at this Silver Perez, 1,351, 1,352, you can get them for. If he goes up to 3,300, 3,400, that's a 2,000 gap. You are making 1,900 profit on every single card. So if you are smart, getting 15 of these, you go to another card, you get 15 of these. This is not the example, this Chapman, but you go to another card like Springer, who won't get upgraded for another two updates, but once his price rises, he gets up to the 3,000s, you got him for 1,060. He goes up to 3,060, that's a 2,000 gap. You're gonna lose 170 off of it, and guess what? You are making a crazy amount of unlimited stubs. So what you are doing is taking advantage of the market right now. You know that the roster update is coming up and I'm gonna give you who I got. So a perfect example of what I'm saying is this Pete Alonzo has a chance to go diamond. You can get him for only 1300 stubs, okay? So once the speculation happens, he goes up to 3400, 3800, even 4000 stubs, they will be taken 400 off the top so if they take 400 off the top and you got them for 1300 you are making almost a 2800 to 3000 profit on every single card you want to get at least 15 cards minimum of all the great value cards as far as goals now silvers the gaps would be a little less but it would be the same result so you got peter lonzo you got javier baez we're going to go through my binder cards that have a chance to get a roster update at any given time is who you want to look out for now when you got the hernandez's that didn't get the update last time but he played in the all-star game then you got the freddie peraltas this value is a little different 
you would have needed to invest in them or hold them from the last roster update like I did because the profit margin is smaller. So let's go to my inventory. All the cards you should be investing in as far as in their position and in the top 10 players. So Ryan McMahon, you can see I got 34 of these. If he goes to gold eventually, not this roster update, but the next two roster updates, that would be 34,000 stubs. So I got 34 of them. If you are getting them in the 100s, you are spending 3,000 stubs and you are making 34,000 stubs once he gets the upgrade. That's over 30,000 profit that you are making. So Trevor Story, another candidate in the next two roster updates to go up. You getting them for 1,000 too. Say over the next 48 hours, he has a very, very good game. You get him for 1,003, 1,004, you get 15 to 20 of them. And then Thursday or Friday, his price goes up to 3,500, 3,800. You are not losing stubs. You are making unlimited stubs. You don't even have to wait till he goes diamond. Because if you try to wait until the cards go diamond, they're going to shoot all the way back down in price. Okay? So as soon as you get a card, for 1002 and then you see his price on Wednesday or Thursday or Friday go up to 3700 or more sell the card off take your 1900 to 2000 profit the more cards that you have the bigger payday you are going to hit on certain cards like Peralta you don't want to sell them off and do the same thing because they have a very very good chance at going diamond Giovanni Galagos you can see I'm sitting on 50 of these he's still under 3,000 so you can go in and get your investments in right now I got 50 of them the reason why I like to have cards that have the best chance at getting that bump in 50s or more is because that's going to be 250 thousand stubs now if i got four to five of them i'm making a million stubs on four investments so i have all the small cards that i can walk away with about 75 to 80 thousand each and that would quickly add up and then i have the bigger cards where i have 50 or more of them and that's going to give me 250 because on the roster update if sds upgrades the players like they are supposed to you could be walking away with 700 thousand minimum and up to a million or more stubs every single time by using both methods buying the cards that you think has the most potential to go diamond and then buying the cards that you think has the most potential to go up in value closer to the roster update so you can see i've been investing in the frasers a little bit his price is going to slowly rise and rise brian reynolds is another good candidate to get boosted in the next two roster updates you still getting them for under 1100 he will slowly go up to the 2000s and then the 3000 ranges the more that you get of these at a low price he gets up the 3000 range you making almost 17 1800 stubs on every single investment now my richard rodriguez he didn't get the bump last time but i got 36 of these his price is starting to go up 250 to be able to buy 300 to be able to buy and his buy now is slowly going back up into the 800s so i'm gonna always hold him for the long haul because when he does go gold that's gonna be 36 to 40 thousand stubs that i would have been to made ready peralta i got 30 of these that's gonna give me a good profit his buy now price is already pretty high. You can still get in there and make a 14, 1500 profit. But if you were getting him when he was 21, 2200s, you were doing even better. 30 of these, if he goes diamond, that's gonna be a lot of stubs. Javier Baez, all he needs is a contact boost and he will go up. 44 of these Javier Baez's, you can still get him for lower than 1,100 stubs. He's at 15, 15 that you can sell him for. So 15, 15, if he jumps to 2,500, rises up to 2,800, you are making a lot of stubs. Once the prices inflate, you will be making 1,000 to 1,800 or 2,000 stubs on every investment, and that's gonna quickly add up to a lot of money. Having 44 of them, you're gonna be walking away with 90 to 100,000 stubs on golds. Not even him going to a diamond, just on golds. And then you can rinse and repeat. Right after the roster update, I can give you the cards on what to go scoop up again, rinse and repeat. Before you know it, my 235,000 stubs with the investment in the binder turns into 750,000 stubs. And then you are patient, you work the next content that drops into the game, you flip the market, the next roster update comes out, and now you have 1.3 million, 1.5 million stubs, and the best team to be able to compete 
in the game. Peter Alonzo, I just showed y'all, this is a good investment, got 19 of them. I wanna have a lot of stub opportunities spread out throughout the folder. Garcia, another good opportunity. Under 1,100 stubs, I got 31 of them. If he goes a plus one, he's gonna be guaranteed to go diamond on the roster update. After that, 1649 can easily turn into 2649, and then you will have a 1600 gap. You're gonna take 164 off. That's 14 to 1500 stubs every single profit. 31 of them, you are making a lot of stubs. Part two is coming up next. Drop a like on the video, hit that red subscribe button, make unlimited stubs using these two methods. Buy to sell when they are higher or buy right now while they're low for a chance to go diamond. Let's get it.